Judging by the list of games that you played, that is, if it is a thing, our FNAF Pro. So boy, oh boy, do I have a treat for you. So, what you're in right now is both my new game and a new place. Lego One Ones, we have played them. That's right, I own the place, and I made the animatronics myself. Don't know where they are? Well, check the cam. Upon doing this, you will see the robots in one of the camps. And also, I am the main lead. You know, the red bear with brown eyes. That's my robot counterpart. And around this place is my imaginary friend. And yes, although I am old, I still have imaginary friends no matter what. So, regardless, one of them here is named Hama, H-A-M-A, -A, or Hammy. H-A-M-I. I know it's a dumb name, but Hammy's robot counterpart is the Orange Bunny. He's on the same cam as my robot counterpart, Cam 1. So, enough of the chit chat. I'll tell you what to do. Mainly, the robots have a night mode, and they move around in order for their servos to not be deactivated. But, as many FNAF game players know, you included, they go on murder hunt. And I think I could troll them, or maybe someone else does. Who knows? So regardless, in our office, you will see three buttons. And I think you are wondering how they work. I will tell you. The button on your left is the door button. You can shut it at whoever's there. The button at the center side of your office is the shock button. It will shock whoever is there, and it will restart the AI automatically. After a button on your right is the steam button, and it will cause a robot circuit to fry up a bit and go away, but that circuit will fix itself manually or, or automatically while the robot that's there runs back to its spot. And also, uh, the paths of the robots are randomized. They can move at whatever path in place they please or desire most. Anyway, enough of that. I will tell you who's active. The robot counterpart of me moves tonight. And to be honest, he will speak to you when he moves, and he might be a bit meta on whatever FNAF would you think he said. Anyway, if you see him through the center of the office, since that is how he will get you, click the shock button. And that's it, really. So make sure you check the cameras for any movement, and click the shock button if you see someone there. And uh, by there, I mean at the center of your office. Or mainly, just be careful. And while you're at it, try out the other defense mechanisms in your office besides the shock button in your downtime. So, for that player, you're gonna need it.
drives the shock bus, then take a guess on which pink panic will protect him. That right player, the steam button. So, if you were to pop up at the right door, click the steam button to make him leave. And speaking of AI, the AI levels will increase each night, so make sure to be careful on the later nights, then you don't want to die, now do you? <laughs> That's my thought. Then apparently you are a FNAF pro. Anyways, do what you did with 101 last night, shock him, and click the theme button if Hamlet shows up on the right side. And that's all for tonight, so, good luck again, player. Having fun with Fun Time Freddy ain't fun at all. Thank <laughs> you. 
Having fun with Fun Time Freddy ain't fun at all. be hard for some noobs, but you, you're not a noob, and you are a pro, so you'll get through this. Trust me, I know from experience. Anyway, if you played FNAF 1, then you must know that you must close the door if Foxy runs down the west hall. Same thing here, except that Trevin will not run upon moving if you're not looking at him. And speaking of which, that's not the way he's gonna move. So when he starts moving, Keep in mind that you might not see him at first in the camps at all, since he hides himself from the cameras to make his eyes evil and creepy. I know it's dumb, but it's either that or Trevin gets you with his cute anime-like eyes. Take your pick. Anyway, if he does show up at the left side, shut the door on him. Simple and easy, right? And if you hear a door knocking sound, that means he is left. And that's about it. Besides the robot you saw in Camp 2, he isn't active yet, so he will be active by tomorrow, and that's it for real these. Repeat what you did with the robot counterparts of me and Hama for the past two nights, and shut the door on Trevin if you see him there. So, good night, good luck, player. Player.
fun. Thank <laughs> you. 